hello guys welcome to this new video i hope you all doing good today we are going to solve a question that was asked in amazon's interview so as you can see on the screen we have the question from the lead code the question read as we are given a form with multiple input types and we have to create a function in javascript that will traverse through these inputs and it will return as an output in this format that will contain the object with the given keys so the name of the input it has to be splitted on the period operator and then we have to use the letter character as the final key and we have to store this in the object in a structured format so if you see we have three inputs the first name of the input is foo dot bat so in the output you see we have a key with foo that contains a child with bat and the byte value will be the value of what the input holds similarly we have foo bar baz so we have foo foo contains bar and bar contains baz and then there is fizz fizz is a solo value so let's see how we can solve this problem i'm going to copy this html structure and i'm moving it to the code pen so here we have the html let's start writing our code in javascript before that let me add values to this because currently it does not hold any value right so we, i'm just adding values to make sure that we can cross check if our our solution is working fine or not so here i have added value 1 2 and 3 to them the approach i'm going to follow to solve this problem is basically i'm going to select the parent and then for that parent i'm going to select all the input types and then for each input type i'll create i'll iterate them separately but before that i'll create an output object that will be accessible to all these input types and then inside that ob output object we'll see if the key already exists or not if it already exists then we'll move to the next key otherwise we'll create the new key so this is similar to low dash uh, underscore set that I have already solved. I will paste the uh, video link to that in the cards. You can go through that. Let us try to solve this. So here I am creating a function solution that will accept the id and then here we will first get the parent. but from the DOM, so document dot get element by ID and with the ID, and after that I'll get all the inputs that this parent has. So here parent dot query selector all, and then I'll pass the input. So it will get all the input elements. And finally, I am creating this output object. It's blank currently in which we are going to traverse the input and store it values. Now, this query selector all returns a node list. So, to traverse the node list, either you can use the for each loop or you have to convert the inputs to array. It's up to you how you want to do it. I am going to use the for each loop. So, I am applying a for each over here and then from the input i want to get its name and value so i am destructuring those keys name and value from each input element and then from the name i want to split the name on the period operator so that i can get all the keys individually so here i am creating this variable paths array and then i am going to split the name on the period operator so we got the name we got the value now what we are going to do is we are going to iterate each key in the paths array so i am going to attach another for each loop on the paths array and here we will get the path now because the output can have the key right it for the previous inputs it can have the existing keys so we have to make sure that if there is existing key we don't override that and we uh, bypass that and we go inside that and then we see if 
uh, further nested keys are available or not so the first check i'm going to add over here is i'll see if not p in output okay so if p is present or not the key is present or not so using the dot in operator we can check if the key is present in object or not so this will tell us if p is present in output or not so if it is not present what we are going to do is we are going to create a new key now before uh, proceeding and creating a new key what i am going to do is i am going to store this output in a temporary variable that's because we are going to traverse the object and we are going to change its reference so from the parent key we are going to move to the nested child that's why i am storing it in a separate variable so that it will be easier for us to traverse the output rather than touching the original object so here also let me update so rather than checking in output i'll now check in temp and if the p is not present in temp we are going to create a key with the empty object so now if the key is not present a new key will be added and it will hold an empty object the second thing we are going to do is we are going to add a check so what if we have reached till the last key in the name for example we have reached from foo bar and bass right now we are staring at bass so in case of bass we don't want to have an empty object rather we want to store the value that is um, the value of the input so let me add a condition for that i'll add a check over here if the index the index we are at currently in the uh, splitted path is the last index so paths array dot length minus one so this will check if we are currently at the last index of the path then we, for that key we have to update the value so if the key is not present we have added a condition to check if the key is not present assign an empty object then immediately we have added another condition now this condition is not in else part because this is the explicit check we want to do so even if uh, the key is not present and we are assigning an empty object in this check we will override this so that's why this is the explicit check we have added so in this we check if we are at the last key then assign the value at that key level otherwise what we'll do is we'll change the reference so we'll move a next level in the object in the output object so we say that change the reference from temp to temp p now this will get hold of the child's key reference that's it now this will traverse the key at the nested level so if we are at the last level this check will assign the value and then the object reference will be updated and if there are further most keys in the array then again the loop will iterate and the process will go on so we are keep on after each check either we check if the key is present or not if it is not present we create an empty object if we are at the last key we assign the value to that key otherwise we keep on moving to the next child so from parent child grandchild and so on so we keep on changing the reference so we are done we have updated the value now finally at the end we are going to return the output now let me print this so let me invoke the solution console.log solution and here i'll pass the id of the form which is parent now let me run this So you see we are getting the object we got foo foo has a child bat with value one so the first input foo dot bat value one then foo dot bar dot bass with value two so foo has bar bar has bass with the value two and finally the fish let me add another key over here let's say foo bar 20 and then i update the value to 20 so this will have another key so foo dot bar has two childs foo bar baz and foo bar 20 so we should have baz and 20 next to each other now if i run this 
you see that we have foo bar baz and 20 so everything is working as expected i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time